welcome to Debbie's Kitchen. Today we are going to be making some French toast. So I want you all to be sure to get out all your, your ingredients that you had received, which is some salt, pepper, some condensed milk, a little bit of cinnamon, some eggs, and some oil. And your bread that you have selected to go ahead and make your French toast. It should be in the bag, so I want you to be sure to follow along with me on our recipe. Okay, so then in regards to utensils, we're gonna need a one third cup of measuring cup, your teaspoons, a little whisk and some tongs to go ahead and grab your your bread okay so are y'all ready let's get started okay first of all we're gonna crack two eggs into a bowl okay go ahead follow along with me guys while I'm doing this be careful So that is two eggs. And now I want you to get out your condensed milk and we will be having one third of the condensed milk into your egg mixture. And if it slowly gets like that, just beat it a little bit or top to it a little bit. Come on, let's go, let's go. Uh-oh. Well, guys, don't do that. Or you can. I think I better use a, a spoon. Okay. This doesn't have to be perfect, guys, because if you're not spilling, you're not having any fun. Okay. So I already did my one third cup of condensed milk and I'm gonna add it to the eggs. So go ahead and start pouring it again into your eggs. It's gonna give it this really yummy, sweet flavor in your French toast, okay? So now, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go do this with my little finger. Always have a little towel with you. Um, so in case you have any spills or whatever, you can easily just clean it off. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to get out your 1 fourth teaspoon and we're gonna put some salt in it. Just like that, just a little bit. And pour it in that little egg and condensed milk. And then you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna take out your pepper. And once more, one fourth of your tablespoon. Pour it in there. So next, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to whisk. And we're gonna just whisk it up. Okay, so I'm here whisking and whisking. Mmm, this is really gonna be great, guys. And that's all you have to do is just whisk away, whisk away. So then, you know what? I just forgot some cinnamon. But you know what? That's okay because we're still whisking away. So I'm going to start putting some cinnamon inside 
my egg batter, condensed milk, one fourth a tablespoon of pepper, one fourth tablespoon of salt. So now comes the fun part. So what I'm going to do, hold on. I forgot, I needed to turn on the stove. And I am going to put about um, one fourth cup of oil. Now, it could be any kind of oil. I personally enjoy using olive oil, but it doesn't have to be olive oil. It could be um, canola, canola oil, it can be vegetable oil. And you're gonna put it in your pan. it's nice and bubbly and hot. So, as we're waiting for that to get hot, we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to now, I'm gonna go ahead and place two, and I'm gonna pour the batter over the bread. Just like that. So I want you all to be doing this while I'm doing this, okay? And with the spatula, you can kind of just bathe it. Bathe it. Just like that. And then you're gonna turn it over. So this recipe, it will make, it'll actually make three French toast. Um, it's going to have a really nice golden flavor, sweetness. So now, what I'm going to do is, let's see. Let's give this just a tiny bit more time. Once you start seeing it bubbling, you know that the grease is nice and hot and ready to go. So, I still have some that's left for my third French bread. So now that's going to be cooking for a bit and as it's bubbling we're going to be testing it. We'll turn it over a little bit just to see if it's nice and golden and if it is then we'll go ahead and flip them over. And it only takes a few minutes. So, right now you can see that it's, the oil's bubbling and it still it needs some time. And I normally have this on a high temperature. So like that, um, it will cook it just a little bit faster. But please be careful kids, as you're doing this, be careful that you do not get splattered with the oil. Make sure that you're far away enough where you won't get splattered. And um, I can hear it, it's starting to talk to one another. Can you hear it? It's talking. It's saying, hello there kids. Welcome to Debbie's Kitchen. So, Okay, 
guys. Meanwhile, while we're waiting for that, you all can start putting away, you know, like your bowls and the eggs and just put things away while in the sink. So like that, that's one less thing you need to worry about once you're done. And that looks but right now I'm gonna turn it off because it's the heat is so nice and hot still the French toast is still cooking so I am now going to be ready this is my plate that I have um, with my parch paper so that I can place the cooked nice French toast and put it in there. Always, you know, you want to kind of hold it like this or like that, whatever excess oil is on it, it'll fall right into the pan. and. and do the same thing to the to this next French toast so look at that so now all we're gonna do is just sprinkle a little bit of more cinnamon on it So I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. 